Support restructuring now, Afnafir, Ohan's tell Northern leaders. The Yoruba socio-political group, Afnafir faults some Northern leaders for being opposed to restructuring. The National Publicity Secretary of Afnafir, Yinka Odemekin, says those opposed to restructuring are against it for their selfish interest. Ohans Ndigbo insists Nigeria must be restructured. The Yoruba socio-political group, Afnafir, has told some northern leaders opposed to the idea of restructuring to change their position to save Nigeria from becoming a failed state. Afnafir's stand on the issue is also reportedly backed by Ohans Nidigbo, the dominant Igbo socio-political group which has maintained that Nigeria must be restructured, Vanguard reports. The National Publicity Secretary of Afnafir, Mr. Yinka Odemekin, on Sunday, July 2, faulted some northern leaders for being opposed to restructuring. The group's spokesperson said those opposed to restructuring were against it for their selfish interest. Odemekin said they cannot see the larger picture and do not care about the future of this country. He advised northern leaders still opposed to restructuring to emulate former military president, General Ibrahim Badamisi Babangida, and ex-vice president, Atiku Abubakar, who have expressed support for restructuring. We welcome their intervention, IBB, especially. We remember Babangida was opposed to restructuring in 1999 when we held a national conference with the late Mr. Alanao aka Bash or Run. We were flogged out of the place. For him now to come to reality to say we have to restructure, and to have spoken those words, and to break it down the way he has done shows that he has realized the mistakes of those years and that it is the right thing to do. We welcome him, he is a critical voice and he has added value to it, Odemekin said. For Atiku Abubakar, he has been consistent on restructuring over the years, right from when he was in office. We have noted his intervention for over 10 years. He has added value to the debate, he has removed the notion that not everybody in the North is against restructuring. So, the two of them have added value to the debate. They have shown clearly that those of us, who have been talking about restructuring, know what we are saying and they have confirmed our position that it is the right thing to do. Odemekin called on northerners who are indifferent to the idea of restructuring to toll the line of voices from the north who are speaking loudly for restructuring now. The Afnafir's spokesperson warned that Nigeria was gradually becoming a failed state and that the country needed to be restructured to bring about inclusiveness to governance. Similarly, the Ohans Nidigbo has insisted the Nigeria needs to be restructured. Ohans Ntigbo is in support of what other Nigerians are saying. We cannot be different. Ohans is thinking along the same line, that Nigeria must be restructured. We are on the same page with them, a source close to the group told Vanguard. Meanwhile, Southeast leaders came together on Saturday. July 1st to announce their support for Nigeria to remain as one while calling for the country to be restructured. The leaders met at Nike Lake Resort Anugu on Saturday night to deliberate on the agitation for secession coming from some part of the region. In attendance at the meeting was governors from the region, National Assembly members from the zone, Oanes Ndigbo and selected Igbo leaders of thought. The meeting was convened by the governor of Eboe State, David Amai, and the leadership of Oanes.